Okay, we're gonna put it to the test on some loose dirt. We filled it in about a couple months ago. Oh wait, I was pushing it the wrong way. Ha! Huh. Wow, look at that. I always fail. That is awesome. You know, if I need to build this split rail fence or like those big posts, that would be perfect. I might have to keep this tool for a long, long time. This is what I usually have to dig out these holes for. You put one of these things in, like a little post for the fences and such. So let's see how to install this auger thing. Um, okay, we need one of these attachments and then we're gonna tighten it up. The cool part is this gadget goes into here and it's kind of like a hidden away. Isn't that awesome? So you always have it. This looks like a little light over here. And then the actual auger blade go go inside here. Couple more tests. You kind of have to pull it back so it kicks it out. Whoa. There's a little bit of vegetation, so let's see how it does right here. I think the batteries are dying slowly. Is it? Yeah, the batteries are wearing out. They were only halfway full when we started. But yeah, it's still on a low battery. This is not, this is a packed dirt and it's nice. This is awesome. If you ask me, on the dead batteries, it still works. Look at that. The batteries is almost fully dead. They're not all the way charged since we started. It was only on two, maybe even less. And look, it works really well. I like it, really lightweight auger. Pretty awesome, thumbs up for me. Now let's put it to the test on the glass. This is Pug George, so a lot harder. But all we have to do is just be patient. Look at that, that's crazy. That is awesome. So as you can see, it works on both like uh, stone dirt and soft dirt. So as you can see, it works really well on a soft dirt on this other stuff. 